Data is Life is a popular slogan from one of Nigeria's leading telecommunication companies, Glomacom. Indeed, for 55.4% Nigerians who rely on internet for social interaction, learning, work, and business, data is life. Without data, accessing the internet will be impossible. However, having a digital device and data do not guarantee access to the internet in sub-Saharan Africa. It also depends on electricity which powers digital devices. Unfortunately, these basic technology infrastructures are inadequate, unreliable, and exorbitant in sub-Saharan Africa. Due to epileptic power supply in Nigeria, generators serve as alternative power source, but their use is no longer sustainable. In June 2023, Nigerian government removed fuel subsidy causing an increase in price to about $1 per liter. This is a country where the monthly minimum wage is less than $50. Solar power, which relies on sun rays, would have been the best alternative since Nigeria enjoys excess sunlight, but the cost is above the income of many Nigerians. So, when it comes to power, ordinary Nigerians like me are faced with the option of spending more on fuel and unavailable electricity or stay in the dark. Internet data also come at exorbitant rates. Imagine buying a 1 gigabyte data for about $2 in a country with 40% citizens living on less than $2 per day. Even at this, poor internet services are usually experienced and these affect virtual interviews Zoom meetings, hybrid works, and online courses. I have experienced this on important occasions. In June, for instance, I had a job interview that was marred by internet failure. Despite switching from one network to another, I experienced poor audio and video quality. At a point, I was totally off from the platform due to constant loss of network. Low battery on digital devices have also marred my online engagements. How then will sub-Saharan African residents like me dive into the world of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics? However, I believe this story will change if government provides free public Wi-Fi and subsidizes solar power for citizens. Reducing cost of internet data and electricity tariffs we also help sub-Saharan Africans catch up with the current technological advancements in the world. Without these, sub-Saharan Africans like me will continue to lag behind while the world moves on technologically.